What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and I'm excited to bring you this next car. I know I've had an influx of Lincoln Town cars lately, and you know, that might be a little repetitive, but I am riding a Lincoln Town car wave. But to toss things up a little bit, I have this is this is my my home base here. This is where I come from, the Brohams. 1991 Cadillac Brome, 43,000 mile car, super clean southern car. Uh, totally rust free, a beautiful cotillion white over navy blue leather. One of my favorite color combinations for these cars. I'm excited to show you this one. Let's get into it and let's take a nice walk around tour of this Cadillac and then we're gonna take it up on the road, bring it up on the highway and show you what it does. Let's take a look. And isn't it absolutely stunning? Just look at the, the glistening chrome and stainless on this beautiful 1991 Cadillac Brome. Uh, some people call it a Fleetwood Brome. Technically, it's not a Fleetwood, um, but uh, it's passable. Um, but it's a 1991 Cadillac Brome. It's got 43,000 original miles on the car. Uh, car was a Southern car its whole life. Uh, spending most of its time in the uh, North Carolina, South Carolina area. Um, so the car is completely rust-free, super clean underneath in all the jams. And you can just see that sun glistening off this car. Um, this is one of my favorite color combinations. Um, out of all the cars that I have in my collection, um, I have two in this combination. White, cartillion white with the blue interior. Uh, both of my cars have blue velour. Uh, this is a blue leather car. Uh, really, this is my favorite combination. I like the silver cladding on the bottom. Kind of breaks it up, although I do like the cars when they are monotone white. Uh, but this just looks very 1991 Brome. You know, a lot of press release photos and, and brochures and stuff had cars in this color combination uh, with the silver cladding on the bottom. It just really broke the car up nicely. Uh, and this is a beautiful, beautiful example. Um, the the car, you know, it, it's really, I don't know why I'm having a loss of words with it, describing this car. It's a really, really nice 43,000 mile car. And the nice thing about this car is somebody has already done all the work. Somebody has already gone through it and done all the things that are common on these cars. I guess that's what I'm trying to get out is it, it's a turnkey car. Uh, rear fillers have been replaced. Even the front fillers have been replaced. All the side trim has been refinished. Common on these cars to need that. Uh, the headliner has been replaced. Tires, all that stuff. So the car is ready to go. It, it really is. It's it's a beautiful surviving car. Um, and uh, it's ready. I know leaves are starting to fall now. It's kind of gearing up to the end of our season here in New England. Uh, but this car is ready to go wherever you need it to go. Now, for those who have been following my channel for some time, they know I absolutely adore this vintage Cadillac. Uh, the 1992 Brome is my favorite. I have five of them in my own collection, and that's not by accident. Uh, but this one is a real nice contender because, I mean, just, you look at the detail work, the chrome, you know, all around the headlights, the bezels, the grill. You know, even the coloring in like the hood ornament here, you can see it's not faded on either side. Um, the stainless is in nice shape, all the stainless going down the uh, the hood line and then through the doors and then up over the rear uh, is in really, really nice shape. But again, just look at the chrome here. Uh, it shows that the car was sheltered, um, you know, at a garage car uh, because this stuff usually starts to cloud up. The other great thing about this car is it being in 1991, it's the first year that GM did these cars in a base clear. Uh, up until 1990, these were lacquer cars, so you don't have to deal with any lacquer checking in the paint. I mean, I am running my hand over the paint right now and it is super smooth, super glossy, uh, and it shows very, very well. It's got a beautiful shine to it. Uh, vinyl top is the original vinyl top on the car, and that shows really, really well. No splitting of seams or anything like that. Come down here, all the trim is in really nice shape. Now I did refinish this white trim. 
this little beaded edge of the stainless it kind of goes and continues on as actual vinyl uh, but it's very common for this to for some reason start deteriorating and it's just painted on the aluminum piece so it just starts wearing off you know from cleaning and whatnot so up and across the whole back of the car uh, that had been refinished by myself and like i said all new fillers fitted really nicely they even went through the trouble of pinstriping the fillers with the correct uh technically not the correct but it's a great idea these cars are painted stripes from the factory uh, but oddly the filler panels were a vinyl tape but whoever had this car uh striped actually had that painted back on which is just shows you how much someone cared for doing these to do it the right way technically not the right way but that's like an extra step that didn't have to be done so i say the right way uh, but all the fillers in here have been refinished correct silver nice fitting you know really flush um you know all the bumper trim and all that stuff so let's go around the car there's not a lot to point out as far as like defects or flaws that's just very minor things you know a little little stuff like i said all this was refinished glass is in nice shape top Again, shows really, really nice. It's the original vinyl top. Windshield is beautiful. All the stainless trim around the windshield uh, is in really nice shape. The, shape. the chrome on the mirrors, the chrome on the door handles, all little things to show you this, this car had lived a indoor pampered life. Uh, so let's just start taking a look around it. Got a little bit of a dust there. Uh, paint on here is good. Little, I must have caught a bug coming down there. It's fresh bug guts. Looks like a little itty bitty chip there. We'll go with another itty bitty chip that was touched up there. I think on the top of the fender here, there was one touched up as well. Again, the chrome is in really nice shape on the front of this car. All these impact strips were refinished. Uh, there is a little scarring on the top of the bumper right here. These are new fillers. These kind of deteriorate like the rear ones. So this car was fitted with new ones and this is just unfortunately the old one must have just wore the spot right here on the corner of the bumper um that the new one uh you know the fit and finish is really good on it but obviously it's not original so that's probably why there's a little overlap there uh again paint is really nice little spot that was touched up there it does have an aftermarket power antenna that works perfectly Come down the fender here is in real nice shape and again you can still see i got a cloud overhead hope it's not gonna rain but you can see the gloss in the fender beautiful set of white wall tires super chunky tread beautiful wire caps locking wire caps i have the key in the glove box but you can see even in the stainless here real nice and clean and shiny all the cladding on the bottom is in really really nice shape as well little b get out of that b Pro mirrors again come down the doors nice and straight beautiful painted stripe down the whole car um, which is another contender to tell you uh, how original the car is uh, the nice thing I like about this vintage brome is they have these body colored door edge guards uh, a couple little marks you can see on that one there um, this back one a nice shape maybe a little tiny little chip there and the top is in really really nice shape all the glass even all this uh premier roof trim here it's not splitting or anything like that uh, all the gaskets on the window sweeps are in nice shape as well over here come down the quarter shows really really well it does have a little minor chip there and a minor very minor little scuff it's not really a scratch i tried getting it out but i don't know what it is it's kind of just rubbed the paint there just a little bit but you can see how straight the side of the car is chrome taillight housings are in really nice shape again the fillers fit nice cadillac 5.0 liter so this is the 305 fuel injected chevrolet engine it is not the old 307 that was a 1990 thing uh you have your flip down gas door your flip open uh, trunk lock keyhole back bumper is in really nice shape as well chrome up here is in nice shape just a very few little minor marks you know nothing too crazy uh, sometimes when these cars sit outside you get drip marks that run down 
from the rain and it literally wears the chrome. Um, that's a significant um, because that was an outside car. Uh, this being an inside car didn't have the rain dripping down it. So you see that that's one way to pick off one of these cars as being an indoor or an outdoor car. Uh, again, taillight housings are in really nice shape. Paint on the deck lid. You can see how lustrous that is. That's a little piece of lint. Rear window. Again, the trim going across. It's absolutely perfect. Rear bumper filler on this side. It does have a little stress crack. This is a, a fiberglass, so I think it's probably over tightened at one point when it was installed. Uh, that little guy does go away, but you can see this little stress crack uh, right there. Again, top shows really, really nicely on this car. All the glass is all original, as you're built in Texas by Texans. Arlington Assembly Plant stamp of approval. Come down to the bottom here. And all that trim. I forgot the wheel on the other side, but match set of Iron Man. Uh, white wall tires. Beautiful hubcap. I should show you the hubcap. I know the tire is probably not exciting, but no dings or anything like that on the hubcaps. No curb marks. Uh, nothing crazy like that. Come down this side again. Got the color match door edge guards. Another key thing, when you see those missing on these cars, you know the car's been repainted because nobody takes those off. They take them off and then they forget to put them back on uh, when they're repainted. Chrome on here is nice. And again, the window sweeps are all in a really nice shape all the way around. Chrome up here is nice. Top. Come back down to the driver's door. Some minor light scratching just from putting your hand over that. Probably might buff out if a little bit of effort is applied there. All side cladding. Again, paint on this car is in real, real nice shape. You have a little touch up spot there, one there, and one there. Must have been little chips in the paint. Um, Overall, again, this paint is just super, super smooth on this car. Another Iron Man, beautiful hubcap, no curb damage or anything like that. Come around the front here. Does have a few little minor marks, nothing too crazy. On the impact strip, the lenses are nice and clear. And just look at the deep chrome on the front. The thing I like about these cars is this is kind of like a lot last of its time it as the glass composite headlights. So you don't see fading or, or discoloration like you do on cars today. Corner lights are in beautiful shape. Grill shows beautiful. 89 to 92 era grill. All stainless. And again, a beautiful hood ornament. So let's take a look inside this car. And I'm going to take it out on the road and get it on a road test. We'll bring it back to the shop. All right, let's open this one up. Again, you can see that beautiful favorite color combination of mine that navy blue leather just accents these cars so well i know it's probably a common color combination but this combination in my opinion will never get old um the navy blue either that or a burgundy you know that com combination on a uh, white car is absolutely stunning no rust on the bottom of the doors inside the jams show really nicely uh, no rust or anything like that. The silk plates are in nice shape. Even the carpeting in this high traffic area is in nice shape. I do have the floor mats in the trunk. Driver's seat, nice and soft leather. Does have some uh, wear wrinkles or, or creases, I should say. Uh, but the softness of the leather, very important here. Again, being a southern car, it's not all dried out or splitting. The armrest is absolutely perfect. No cracks or repairs there. And again, all the window sweeps. This is all common stuff that starts to fail in these cars. The one thing that drives me nuts, like, and I don't even want to say this, but it, it does, is I see people selling these things, like, on Bring a Trailer. Um, there's even one up for sale right now that, you know, it's just not thorough with descriptions on the cars. And you look real closely, then you start to see the inconsistencies. Um, but in, in overall broad pictures, they look beautiful. Um, and people are passing some of these things off as beautiful, you know, low mileage cars when they're missing all these gaskets or the dashboards are cracked. Um, 
you know, broken power antennas just flapping in the breeze. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm too particular with these cars, but that's just how I am. Now you can see all the chrome in here is nice. The wood is nice. The chrome bucket where you put your hand, you know, not all beat up. The, the hinged uh, wood trim here is all really, really nice. There's no splits in the seats. There's no damage. Um, beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel, original wheels in really nice shape. You know, shows just very, very minor wear, probably from age. But really, I mean, look at it even up on the top. Is it nice? There's no like color loss on it. The horn pad shows really nice. And again, that dash pad, no cracks. Beautiful headliner. Very common on these cars for the headliners to start coming down on them. Uh, but this one has obviously been replaced. And you look inside that door jam, nice and clean. Like this one, I'm bringing a trailer that, you know, didn't mention nothing about rust. And you see down here, there's giant spot of rust. You know, this is just dirt, really. I should have cleaned this better, but this is a Southern car, no rust anywhere on this car. And you look at how nice and shiny the trim plate is, the door threshold, absolutely beautiful. Rear package tray, all the rear window trim is all nice and buttoned up nicely. Back seat is beautiful. Again, the leather is super, super soft on these cars. Oh, got a little, a little bit from the tree there. On the backs of the seats and the carpeting, real nice, real clean carpeting. Let me show you in here. No bubble gum wrappers or anything like that. Again, all, all these little details. That's what makes these cars so difficult to restore um, is, let me get my finger all dirty is the little stuff like that because these cars if they sit outside they they deteriorate and they deteriorate quickly and replacing all these window sweeps and the emblems and vinyl tops and stuff like that you know it's it's not a bad thing to put a new top on a car if it's starting to show age but when it's out you start getting into the sweeps and stuff like that that's really when you're really trying to turn back the hands of time and it's hard to find the parts for these cars really uh, again you can see how beautiful that is there. Carpeting is super, super nice. Leather, again, it shows perfect. Inside that door jam, really clean. No rust. Come up in through here. And again, look at that. Look how nice that is. You know, little details like that are just hard to, uh, it's hard to replicate on these things. Now, one thing I'm going to point out in this video, and I never pointed it out before because I didn't think I had to mention it, but I have seen some people comment saying, oh, this car must have been painted because the strikers are painted. These were all body colored. These were not bare steel on these Cadillacs. They even went as far as putting these hinge covers on it. I can assure you, and, and some people have said, oh, that car has been painted. He's trying to tell you, you know, the car is, you know, perfect or whatever. You know, no one should have painted those. They all came, whatever color the car was, they all came like that. Again, looking at that threshold molding is nice and clean. The um, high traffic area of getting your feet in and out here. Carpeting is just beautiful in this car. It has the original uh, litter bin. And again, a beautiful crack-free dash pad. Passenger seat shows super nice on this car. Again, nice and soft leather. It's not hard and dried out. Uh, it does have the flip open um, center console here with the single flip open ashtray, your coin holder uh, as well. Take a look inside the door there. Super, super clean all the way around. Again, just look at some of this detail stuff here. All the chrome, all the trim. If this car sat outside, it would not look this good. Um, and that's why it's important to pick the right one and, and really dissect the details of these cars um you know i had when i had my brome up on the last brome that i sold on bring a trailer it was a my academy gray brome and i had a few people call and say you know geez anthony the car is beautiful but you know there was one that sold for less and i said oh is it that car and they're like yeah i'm like well look at it no like really look at it and i pointed out flaws and and things that like nobody notices unless you're really looking, you know, headliners that are coming down that aren't even mentioned. And that really drives me nuts um, that people would do that uh, and not mention stuff. This is kind of odd. I, I, I had this happen once before 
We can see a little bit of the chrome peeling off this shift lever. I don't know what would have caused that. I, I really don't know. Um, I do have one set of keys with this car. The original GM keys. Uh, your E, I think it's E and H. Yep. E and H key blanks there. We'll start it up. You get all the telltales that line up. 43,000 miles on this one. Again, this is a fuel-injected Chevrolet 305. Turn the radio on. Power antenna activates. When you said talking about brake. Radio works. Air conditioning works. Uh, we're going to put that on auto. You can hear the compressor kick in. Put this on low for now. Uh, inside the ashtray, nice and clean. Non-smoker's car. I hate smoker's car. Smoker's cars. I actually have a video coming out on my channel of how I lost thousands and thousands of dollars on buying a smoker's car. Um, right here, I got a build sheet or part of a build sheet, really. Uh, this was underneath the driver's seat. Uh, when I had got this car in, both front recliners weren't working. Common thing on these cars, it's really an easy fix. I have a video on my channel on how to do that. They kind of get seized up. Uh, here is the red R for red. People ask me about these or they post on some of the Facebook groups. Uh, oh, I need a hubcap key for my car. And these are color coded. So you see the red cap, which is obvious, but if the cap is missing, it's got a letter R on it. Now that will correspond with the locks on the wheels. So the locks on the wheels are actually red. Then they have green, they have blue, they have yellow, and you know, B or blue would be a blue cap and blue lock. So if you're looking for uh, one of these guys, it's color coded. So just not any room or, or lock uh, tool will work. We have the original uh, owner's manual here. Uh, welcome to the world of Cadillac, Cadillac style. Uh, which is nice to have. I don't know what this is. This is old, I think, registration. Uh, let's pop the trunk while we're in there. Little electric trunk popper there. And then we're gonna pull the hood lever. Now, we'll open up this big under hood compartment here. And uh, you can just see how nice and clean this is under here. Uh, one of my pride things that I do is I, I clean these engine bays. When this car came in, it needed just a little bit of freshening up, but it, it shines so beautifully. All the trim, everything is nice and clean. And again, indication of this being a Southern car, all the radiator support, all the tie bar screws, all that stuff is in really nice shape. That's the original Harrison AC compressor. And actually I'm looking at it here. It looks like the car has never been converted, so I believe it still has R12 in it, and the air conditioning does work on this car. You can see there's a compressor kicking on there. Uh, it does have a newer battery, cooling, all the fluids are in nice shape. Uh, some new hoses, new hose clamps, uh, but really nice shape. Even the underhood insulation pad is in nice shape. This little guy looks to be burned out, but otherwise very, very clean under here. We'll close that down. Go we'll take a look what's inside this trunk. Uh, what do we got back here? Other than glaring sun, we have all four original floor mats. The fronts have the little Cadillac logo or uh, wreath on them here. You can see they're actually in really nice shape. Very, very minor heel mark there, but real nice. Uh, it does have the original trunk mat underneath there. There's the other rear one. All the lining in the trunk is in really nice shape and it does have a new donut spare that's never been on the ground. Inside the trunk is super clean. These are option tags, and you can see here base clear, uh, indicating the uh, color of the paint that's on this car. And then you have your paint codes and stuff like that. Um, the lacquer cars would say lacquer here. Uh, inside the jam, nice and clean on both sides. Common spot for these things to rust. Trunk pull down, works absolutely perfectly let's take it on the road all right and here's the most pleasurable part of driving your 1991 cadillac brome it's getting behind the wheel getting comfortable you have the tilt and telescoping wheel the telescope will feature on this and it's funny <laughs> some people don't even know that these do this they have the i don't want to beep the horn in the parking lot here they have this telescoping feature with this lockable little device here Probably shouldn't be doing this while I drive, but anyway, so let's take it for a spin. Now 
the thing I remember with these cars, when I bought my first 90 Brome when I was in high school, and getting behind the wheel and having a having a nice one. Like I had parts cars before that, but I never actually had a nice one. You get behind the wheel, you see that long hood stretching out in front of you. You see those lamp indicators. And I know you're not gonna be able to see it now, but they light up um, the turn signals on the outers. And then they also light the headlights on the uh, inner ones. Now, the thing that is a little different uh, with like the 80s versions, the 80s had three little ports on them because they had the uh, separate high beam. Uh, these don't have that. So uh, they just have the two ports and then obviously the ones in the rear there, but let's see if we can beat them up on the highway here. Just starting to change up here. We'll probably see peak foliage time in a couple weeks. And she just cruises nice down the highway. Let me telescope this thing back in. I'm not used to it being out like that. I definitely shouldn't be doing it on the highway. But tilt the wheel up a little bit. Perfect. Got that four note Cadillac horn. I love that one. And the car just glides right down the highway. It doesn't pull, doesn't shake, rattle, roll. Uh, it just goes so smoothly down the highway. Like I said, it's got nice tires on it. Uh, the car was relatively recently serviced. Um, and, uh, you know, tires were put on the car. It's got nice, chunky tires. Uh, front brakes are in really nice shape. Uh, no pulsations or anything like that. That little fat can. I don't know why you'd want to drive around with that exhaust making that noise. Um, where was I? Uh, it's got nice front brakes. I, I did go through this car. Uh, I did do a little bit of front end work to it. Um, somebody had already put new inner and outer tie rods in the car, uh, but it had a little bit of wear, uh, play in the pitman arm and the center link. So I did a pitman arm, center link, full wheel alignment, or front end alignment, I should say. Did a few other things. I replaced the door lock on that side uh, when it came in that was broken. The latch assembly. Uh, just a few other minor touches here, but otherwise this car came in and it was in really nice shape because like I said, this car, somebody had already gone through it. Um, filler panels, all the common things were already done and it was, it was actually a relief to get the car in like that because usually that's all the stuff that I chase on these cars. But it was nice to get one in that was more, we'll say, turnkey. None of these cars are ever just turn, turnkey when they come in. They all need just a little something, but this one wasn't too bad. And I know that thing's going absolutely nuts on the camera, but it doesn't actually do that in real life. Ooh. Like I said, cold air, which is nice because it's still the original R12, dual power seats. I did do both power recliners on both sides. Uh, so this car is ready to go. If you have any questions, my name is Anthony, 978-930-1004. Uh, you can get me on that number. Um, I'm up here in Pelham, New Hampshire, but don't let distance stop you from getting a dream car in your driveway i can help you arrange all the shipping uh, and transport i can get this car picked up here in pelham and delivered wherever you need it to go just let me know um, i work with all types of transporters to get cars moved all over the country i ship them in all from all over the country and then i send them out uh, to all my customers all over the country and definitely check me out on all my other social media platforms if you are one of my facebook followers 
or you are one of my Instagram um, followers, you would have seen this car come in on the car carrier. You would have seen some of the things that I did to it. I post sneak peeks. Hey, you know, it's in the detail bay. Hey, it's coming up. Uh, that's a good way to get kind of a little heads up that what's coming up next other than on my website. So definitely check that out. Specialtymotorcars.net, all the pictures for this car. This car is going up for sale. If you have any questions, give me a call, 978-930-1004. Everybody's going to ask, Anthony, how much is the car? The car is $20,995. If you have any questions, give me a call. 978-930-1004. Appreciate you all for watching. We'll talk to you all in the next one.